Now let's talk to a former U.S. ambassador to Greece. Daniel Specker joins us uh, on the line. Daniel, first off, your reaction to the passage of the austerity vote. Well, I think it's very significant uh, because given what they're being asked to do, which is some really significant cuts now in terms of the uh, cutting into the minimum wage, which you saw, and that's important. They're talking about a 22 percent cut, I believe, in the minimum wage. That's not just for people making a minimum wage, but that's throughout the pay system because most people's pay in the private sector is based in terms of multiples of that. You also have uh, uh, cuts uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, the, the uh, other parts of the programs that many people are really depending on for their life. So this is significant uh, and it's going to affect a lot of people. And so the fact that they got 199 votes uh, to me is uh, pretty substantial. It is pretty substantial. 74 against and uh, those that uh, didn't vote along party lines have been ousted as well. A lot of these uh, MPs we're hearing about 53 in fact. So what do you make of the politics taking place in Greece that right now? Well, I think it's going to be interesting to watch. The big thing to be looking forward in terms of your viewers is the elections. Uh, the new democracy leader talked about elections in April here. Uh, the sooner the elections come, uh, in some sense, uh, the government needs that. They're kind of probably going to need that to re uh, restore its uh, credibility. On the other hand, it's going to put it into a uh, probably a very uh, difficult period of uncertainty, which will uh, cause many people to be worried about the outcome. I think uh, so looking down the road, I would worry about those politics, and I'd worry about a lot of def uh, defections from the major parties to the far right and the far left. In particular, that's important on the left side, where Pasok, uh, who George Papandreou, the last premier, uh, premier had uh, led the government, had a substantial majority. He lost that in terms of uh, where he's headed now in terms of the polls, uh, and many of those people are defecting to the far left parties. Uh, and so this kind of dynamic, as people shift from the center to the extremes, could have a significant effect on the next elections. And Daniel, how worried are you about Greece right now? We have 80,000, uh, that's what we're hearing, the latest numbers outside Parliament, uh, 10 buildings on fire. And uh, the citizens of Greece are, are really angry because they have to basically, they're the ones that, that are suffering these budget cuts. So uh, what about Greece in the future? Yeah, I think, well, this is significant to get those kind of numbers in the streets. Uh, at the same time, uh, still, I think uh, there's a significant number of people that realize that Greece has to move forward with some significant structural reforms uh, to do something for future generations. The challenge is going to be that it, it, they, I doubt that they can keep 100,000 in the streets every day, but even 10,000 people or 20,000 of very angry people can keep the economy from functioning properly. So if they uh, start having significant strikes uh, that close ports, uh, continue to uh, interrupt the economic commerce of the country, uh, and cause, the, in effect, the cycle of economic decline to speed up rather than slow down, I'm worried about the future because it won't work for us to continue to have a cycle where the economy gets worse and they keep trying to cut the budget to make up for that. They have to start talking more, I think, about growth, and I think that's what the leaders yeah. of the uh, EU have been talking more about in some of their meetings. Daniel, one more question for you. Uh, ultimately, you know, you still have a lot of high-profile investors, uh, a lot of big money managers. Says well, you're still going to see uh, Greece default at some point in the future. What do you think? I, I think there is still a significant probability of that. Uh, I think most animals, analysts looking at 120 percent of GDP by 2020 is still a huge uh, hill to climb. Uh, there's a lot more that has to be done in terms of implementation of this program, and there's a lot more po politics, not just on the Greek side, but on the European Union side, to make sure uh, that the resources keep coming to support this. So uh, I think you have to, in looking at other IMF programs, you have to be realistic in assuming that you're going to have to make adjustments as you go along. In this particular case, though, I'm not so sure the rest of the Europe uh, is ready to keep uh, giving Greece some additional uh, uh, movability after this uh, in terms of its targets. Daniel, thank you so much for your time. Uh, Daniel Speckert, a former U.S. ambassador to Greece, joining us uh, on the line this morning.